Hello and welcome to Memory Mixer Design Studio. Tonight I thought I'd take a few minutes and just show you probably the fastest and easiest way to create a photo book using Memory Mixer. And that is to start with one of our full book quick mixes. There is a separate category for full book quick mixes at MemoryMixer.com. Of course, you could also use just a regular quick mix, autofill your photos, and, and it'll repeat pages to use all of your photos. So I'm going to start first with showing you how to use a full book quick mix. I've got it open here. Now on my first page, which remember is your cover, I am just going to leave it as the quick mix shows. I'm not going to do anything else to it. One of the things that will help you to get a photo book done quickly is to not worry about being perfect. And sometimes getting the perfect photo for the front cover may just be a little more than I want to spend the time doing. So I'm going to skip the cover photo. And I'm going to come here now to page two. And I have added my photo already to this page. Now remember, all of these elements you can rearrange, just delete, so it'll be personalized just how you want it. And then this photo, or this quick mix, is laid out. So on the left-hand page, it just counts down to the 10 favorite things about this person. And so number one here, I'm going to go ahead and add my text. So just up on my text tool drawer, add my text. And I'm just going to type your smile. And then I'm going to use my shortcuts over here just to then pick the size and the font. I think I'm going to pick Jenna Sue here. And then I'm going to use, I think it's about 96. So that might be a little bit bigger than I want, 72. So we'll go for that size. And now I'm noticing that this has been rotated slightly. So I'm going to simply click on it. It tells me it's a minus two. So now I can click on my text and I can simply rotate it for the same degrees. So minus two. So we have that done. I'm going to tidy up my text box here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some other text at the bottom. Say OK. I'm going to rotate it just the same. And now I can come over here and play with the size of my text, however big I want that to be. And I can play with my positioning and just work on it. So once you have that in place, how you want your positioning, I like to select both of those things and I can do that by clicking on it and then click on my next item while I hold my shift key down. And now I'm going to copy and then that way I can paste it onto my next page. So I already have the font defined. I just copy the whole information and type over it. So it just saves a little step if you have your text box ready to go. Your font size will be the same. You can even have the exact same place if you want. Okay, now I'm going to come to my next page with a photo. Now you can simply add more photo boxes if you want more photos. Or if you want to keep it simple again, this is just a photo book that has 10 photos. So it doesn't become overwhelming. I'm just going to drag this little photo in here. And I actually started this book for the tutorial, but I had so much fun doing it. I went ahead and I've made it for my daughter. So I have finished my book. And it took me probably about an hour, 45 minutes this afternoon working on it. But I had a lot of fun thinking about her. Um, different attributes and the things that we love about her and her family. So just a few different pages and this was really done with just one photo shoot we did in the afternoon and just went up in the canyon, snapped away for a half an hour, 45 minutes and it was a lot of fun and it, it wasn't too big of a project either. So. so this you can see how easy it is if you want to use a full book quick mix they are ready to go. Just add your pictures. Some of them already have quotes and you don't even have to add text and the, and the quotes can be changed to fit your book. There's one quick mix that's called Thank You Mom, but you could delete the mom and type in any other thank you friend, thank you, and specify a person's name. So there's lots of things you can do to personalize it. So you can see how easy it is to make a photo book using a full book quick mix.